So stretching is really important in rowing. You've got to be able to maintain length of stroke and not give yourself an injury. So the main area that rowers tend to have the most problems is around their hips. Um, we'll just do a very quick set, of ex quick set of stretches that can help loosen up the muscles that keep the hips in place. So the first one, uh, for a school pigeon pose, it's, a ta it's meant to stretch the thing called the glute med. Which is, an inter which is an external rotator of the legs, but that's all technical stuff. Position is this. So, head down, like that. Uh, bang across, organise everything. And settle in like that. So you see the legs across the body here. And what that does is it puts a stretch across here. Settle into the cycling time trial stance or whatever you want, and then just hold that position. Go through the process again for the other side. So, take it across, foot down, and then hold that position at least for 30 seconds. Definitely longer. Okay, next thing to work on is boots. One of the most ungainly positions possible. Like this. We all know what that stretch is through here. There's a bit more easier and more dignified position for that, which is legs wide apart, and then put the hip, push the hips through. You'll feel it go through the same area. Okay, quadriceps, one of the classics. Ankle into opposite hand, pull it up your back. Oh, should feel it through here. Switch to the other side. And that one. There is one exercise I forgot to do while I was on the ground, or one stretch, which is the hip flexor. Wrong lunge, drop the knee, push, the, push this hip through. Should feel it through here. If you have tight quadriceps, you'll feel it in the quads as well. To progress, put the hand up on the same side. Switching sides. And up to progress it. Okay. Final exercise. Nice to have it on. The, nice to have a bar to do it on because it's not on the ground. There you go. Lean onto it. You can do this on the ground as well. I prefer doing standing because standing. The next thing to do after that is actually pull the toes slightly in, and that brings this brings in what's called the sciatic chain. So it pulls, it actually stretches the nerve that goes up and back and connects the leg to the spinal cord. If you're feeling it, drop into it. Switching sides. Yep. And then pull that back side. I've got a far chart, I've got a far tighter starting nerve on this side, so this is really important for me. Yep. Okay. Just a few quick upper body ones. Across, pull that pull back to work on the. Um, that'll be the rhomboids, trapezius, trapezius and rhomboids, and is the insertion of both sides, and the tissuous dorsi, both sides. Always good to also be able to open the shoulder, open the chest up. Using these ones. And just also remember just to stretch the top of the trapezius by shoulders nice and low and then tilting the head away from that side. Really shouldn't take long. Try and hold the stretch for at least 30 seconds. So expect five, 10 minutes at the end of a session to be able to get at least a basic stretch through and that will make a big difference in your length and your performance in the future for rowing.